Fala galera, beleza? Seifa aqui e hoje vamos para o nosso oitavo episódio de Alan Wake. Se vocês estiverem gostando, comentem aí e digam que você acharia de algum outro jogo que eu pudesse zerar, gratuito de preferência e tal, porque a gente é bem pobre e tal, tá investindo. E outras melhorias que eu posso estar tá fazendo aqui no canal, valeu? É isso, vamos lá para gameplay. Help you folks, name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose. Helicopter, filha da mãe. Pronto. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspapers. Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspapers. Mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this: most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, Mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single Back thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano <laughs> under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. É que tava embaçando aqui, gente. Foi mal. Pior que tem que seguir esse maluco. O cara tá mancando, velho. Bora lá, amigão. A gente yeah, consegue. Sim, como é isso? Ele estava lá na manhã, como se ele tivesse caído do céu. Mas isso seria um tornado para lutar algo assim. Estamos muito felizes que não caiu nenhum dos trailers. Estamos muito felizes que não caiu nenhum Ah, tá, era aqui. Ué. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratch and hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. É, aparentemente é isso. Vamos acompanhar nosso amigo aqui. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Rose. Welcome to... to... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. Eita. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al, 
Oh, what's... Oh. Yeah. Barry! What? What? Deu um calmantezão pros dois. Malandra, cara. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary enemy. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. The edits are getting very aggressive. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. Como How she sabe que quiser, pause it. Vamos lá. Possible. There was no time to waste. Leave the trailer. Okay. Não sei se é que sim. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Ó, oh, tem um bando de café ali. A gente também não tava ali. Mano, esse cara é muito. A gente tá correndo desde o início do game e ele sempre cansa quando dá uma corridinha de leve. Impressionante. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh shit. Vamos fugir da polícia, esperar esta minazinha. Ah, caralho, eu não posso ir por ali? Que desgraça. Quase lá, cara. Hum. Achei que eu dei um perdido no. Ih, cara. E o sol da entrada na floresta, meu Deus. Ah, 
¿no? Meu Deus, capturou tem rostido. Corre. O que aconteceu ali, cara? Meu Deus. Tipo, era outro carzão lá. Ainda tem que escapar dele, velho. Meu Deus. This way. Ah, shit. Ah, no, 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 This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Eita porra Escovo logo e atacou o helicóptero Olha isso Tamanho da explosão gente Caramba Temos aqui tem, tem uma arma aparentemente. Certo. Não tem muito a se olhar não. Só sei que tem um cafezão ali. Beleza. Tem um cafezão aqui pra nós também, ó. Camona. Eu posso ver as luzes da radio station na distância. Ainda tô escapando da polícia, já tem um tempinho. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Main seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Ah, não, né? A pro tem rostido, vamos embora. Unnatural shadows clung to begin. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. There was no power to the searchlight. Ah, que beleza, hein? Vamos ligar o um negócio aqui. Cadê? Aqui. Certo. O old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Camisuan. Certo, conseguimos. 
De novo o satanás enrustido Meu Jesus, só tem a lanterna It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Sorry, I'm not going to get out of here. We can do it, guys. We can do it. Eu desviei, cara. Eu não entendo esse jogo às vezes. Corre ela, caralho. Ai, meu Deus. Vou pegar mais. Certo, começamos um jackpot. Ai meu Deus, eu deixo mais que tá. Descansa lá, a gente tem que correr, pô. Eu desviei, pô. Corre. Ah, eu vou morrer desse jeito. Vai, maluco. Pelo amor de Deus, corre. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. É isso, galera. Eu vou encerrando o oitavo episódio por aqui. Aconteceu bastante coisa. A gente basicamente fugiu da polícia. E é isso. Fiquem bem e até o próximo vídeo.